Hello guys, good evening, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to connect a private subnet server to as a public server. So we will use a public server as in a jump server or best in host. So I am connecting from my personal computer to the internet and from the internet I am connecting to the AWS console and going to connect a public server. And with this public server I will rename as jump server or best in host. So what this jump server bastion host I will connect to the private server which is which is don't have any public IP. So this is my AWS architecture diagram. So let's achieve this. So go to the VPC in AWS console. So create a VPC. Name it as Mumbai VPC. I'll name it as Mumbai VPC. And this is my IPv4 C area. I'll go with one available design is enough for me. Number of public subnets one, number of private subnets one, NAT gateways none. I don't want uh, NAT gateways and VPC endpoints. So I'm creating a VPC and go to EC2. It will take some time to create a VPC. So it is done. So let's check your VPC. So this is your VPC CID 10.0.0 16 series. So go to instances and launch a new instance. So I'll name it as jump server, which is in public subnet. So I'll go with the t2.micro, select your key pair, edit your network settings. I'll go with the public subnet for my public server as a jump server. So enable public IP and select a data security group where I associate access. So GP3 is enough for more cost optimization, launch this into instance. And again I launch any EC2 instance of in private server. Alright, so, so with the same configuration I am going to launch and choose your key pair, edit your network settings, go with the private subnet and I will disable my public IP. I have already created a, a, a security group to allow SSH access. So GP3 is enough. So launch a set instance in private server, submit. So view instances. So if you see here, jump server is running instead. So it's still in initializing. So let me check my private server. Okay. It is in pending state. So let me log into the jump server, the public IP. This is my putty where I have need to log into the my public server. This is type an user. So this is my public server IP address ten dot zero dot eleven dot one eighty seven. Let me check private server is uh, status is running instead. So let's check the private server IP 10.0.137.140 series. So ping your IP address. So it is not pinging anywhere. So let me try to connect my private server using this jump server. So you need a PEM file. So I have stored my PEM file in my desktop. and paste it here check the your uh, existing directory where you are going to paste it so there are no files so I'll give it as check the private server connection settings SSH find I'll give it as the same name which I have created for the PEM file sorry I didn't copy it So try to change the permissions. If you see here, I have four, five, six, six plus four plus four for the permissions of PAM file. I need to change the permissions as four double zero for my PAM file to connect. 
So I have changed my permissions to compile and try to log back into the private server using the pump file. So if you see here, you need to authenticate. So this is where you going to log in from my public server to private server. If you see here, my public server IP address is 10.0.11 187 series in the private server IP. So if you see here, the, my private server private IP is 10.0.137.14. So let's get back and verify this. So if you see here, jump server private IP is 10.0.11.187. So and go back to the private server and check the private IP. So this is 10.0.137.40. So this is where you are connecting from a public server using a jump server to private server. So this is how we have achieved. So in my previous video, you can see that how to connect a private subnet using OpenVPN and uh, you can connect with the VPC endpoints. Please watch those videos if you have any more doubts. So this is where you can uh, log back to the public server through private server. So you need to change the permissions of the PEM file and copy the contents and uh, create a new file. So this is where you need to check and securely go to the private subnet server. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching my video. Please do like, share and subscribe for more videos. Let me know if you have any doubts or queries. Please post in the comment box. Thank you.